Hello, Jess Too Good here. Today we're taking a look at the Lego Gingerbread House set, which has 1,477 pieces, two minifigures, and retails for $100. Now, this just released today for VIPs, was sent to me early by the Lego group, but all opinions in this video are my own. So this isn't our first Gingerbread Man, but this is a Gingerbread Man in the set and our first with a mustache. That mustache is awesome. I love that design. The torso is actually the same one they use for the Gingerbread Woman of the set, which is totally okay. I also like the coloring of that middle section, which uses a dark brown here. Also some back torso printing, and you can see that dark brown coloring on the other side as well. As for the Gingerbread Woman, love the design with the exclusive face print. Also how there's pink in the middle. This skirt is fantastic as well, where the printing just continues all around. Really like that exclusive coloring as well to the set. And this one by two is a gingerbread baby, which I don't know, I wish it was like a three dimensional figure or something like that, like the new baby piece or something. But some people say it's a baking sheet, which I could kind of understand, I don't know. It is exclusive print to the set, so take that as you may. There's also this baby bottle piece here, which is from Lego Friends. Don't usually see use of it beyond that theme, but yeah, both figures in this set are fantastic. I just wish that baby was three dimensional. So moving on to the build of the set, first we'll take a look at the gingerbread house, of course. And the gingerbread house building has that nice candy aesthetic to it, looking like something you'd make in preparation for the Christmas season or during the Christmas season leading up to the days of that fateful hopple day. Beyond that though, there's lots of little details scattered throughout, not only the exterior, but the interior of this, but we'll start by taking a look at the exterior. So starting at the front door, love this little two by four stickered welcome mat that says home sweet home, uh, emphasis on the sweet. To the left of the front door, there's a stickered one by four that says candy lane. Also really appreciate the build for these candy canes, which there's one in yellow and one in red. And those use the new-ish tube pieces. I think they released around the time the Lego Batman movie sets first came out. Those are on hinges, so you can move them up and down and get some different positioning there. At the front, there's also this fireplace here, or this design is actually part of the chimney. And there's a play feature there, where by pressing on that one by one ice cream piece at the top, which here it's meant to be some smoke coming out, it triggers the light brick. It really isn't the strongest one, and maybe they should have had a little bit better integration there, but it still works just fine. That's how it looks from the interior. And just for a view from the bottom, you can kind of see what I was talking about. Anyways, to the right, there's these nice log designs. I like the printed one by one they have there, even though it's not exclusive. Also, these kind of sparkling translucent one by one bricks. I think one of those in that coloring, I don't think it's a dark pink, I think maybe the purple in that coloring is exclusive to the set, or it might be vice versa. Either way, very nice piece to get. Also, a little seating bench area over here, or I guess you could say just an outdoor table. Also, throughout the roof of this, you could see just these really nice curved uh, macaroni tile pieces, and also some nice uh, gumdrop designs with just some colored one by ones. I really like that. And speaking of one by ones that are found throughout the set, there's a ton of these one by ones with the little swirl printing kind of topping off uh, these roof designs. More of those one by one bricks with the glitter on them. And it's kind of hard to see really the extent of detailing with these uh, roof designs, but they go all throughout these different crevices. And when I'm talking about crevices, I'm talking really more specifically about this part right here behind the chimney, because this right here isn't something that's like super viewable to the human eye at uh, most of the angles you display this at, but they still go the extra mile and add that detailing there that I really appreciate. And before we move into the interior, just wanted to show this side door as well. And you'll see a lot of these builds where they stack studs on top of another to make almost like a candy cane pole. I think that's just kind of a cute build. And also on the other side, there's a nice window design, again, using more of those uh, sparkling translucent one by one bricks. So let's take a close look at the interior of this gingerbread house. With the first floor having some nice tiles to them, almost like a modular building, and this uh, design with a comfy chair near the fireplace. Also love the design for the stockings on the fireplace, which it's just an unconventional stocking design. I've seen Lego do stockings before, but not with these pieces. Also how a lot of this furniture has a candy finish to them, like these drawers over here use those swirls once again. 
There's also a printed one by one cookie design, which isn't anything rare, but still nice to get. And there's a cup on this side. Over by the sink, there's more drawers with delicacies as the handles. And this oven over here, pretty simple build, has a full stove top and a pan. Also, one thing I almost forgot to highlight is this nice sticker two by three on top of the fireplace of the family portrait. That's a really cute picture and it does have those nice new-ish candle designs there. Before we move on to the second floor, I just want to point out the use of these one by ones in a different setting here. I mean, the front used them, but I like how they're in between uh, the bottom and second floor because it just shows the extra mile Lego went to make this a great looking set from all different parts. Either way, to the right here is a very nice bed design. I like the use of the gold bar pieces and tan because it gives it a candy bar look. I really appreciate that. To the left is the nightstand. That uses uh, the beehive piece in pink, which is also the cotton candy design. They've used that in a few sets like the roller coaster from last year. Really cute design, again, giving it a very candy-like feel as a gingerbread house should have. Over here is the crib, which uses the stamp pieces right here to attach to a one by two jumper. Now this doesn't have enough space to fit uh, the one by two gingerbread baby in perfectly, but you always have his uh, head kind of sticking out. Not a big deal though. And that just attaches very easily there. Now where I kind of have a problem with this top floor is with the bathroom. Not that the bathroom is a bad design because I actually really like it. Love the toilet build, love the bath build, and we'll get a closer look at that. But it's kind of hard to get a closer look at it because this roof here, it's not easy to remove. You can't really remove it, so you gotta just kind of claw your hands in there if you wanna play around with that. So I wish that was a little bit more easily accessible, but it's not a big deal. So what I really like about the toilet is the use of this newer one by one uh, round top piece in white. That's nice, it gives it a more realistic look at that part that holds the water to the back. There's also some one by ones hanging to the opposite wall. And again, can't really give you the best look at uh, the bathtub here, but I'll describe what's inside. Basically, there's a two by two area that's kind of dipped in, so you could have a minifigure sitting in there. And those are topped with one by two gold bar pieces in brown. And at the edge, there's one by two gold bar pieces in brown, but it's leveled up. So I guess it kind of just fits in. So you can make it look like a chocolate bath if you have a character sitting in there. Again, probably hard to see, but that's really the best look I could give. But either way, that's a look at the house. Now let's take a look at some of those side builds. And for those side builds, you have the gifts and some of the vehicles. For the vehicles, there's a baby carriage, which I like how they use cookies, one by one printed design as a hubcap in a way. That's just kind of interesting. And of course you could fit that gingerbread baby in the carriage very easily. You can make a minifigure hold it with that handle there, which is actually a nice color to get that modified one by two in. And then this little snowmobile, or I guess a snow grooming machine. Very simple build, but works very well. Just have a minifigure hold it, you could push it easily. There's more of those printed one by one swirl pieces. And there's even a tube for the smoke or snow kind of coming out. Getting presents in a Christmas tree isn't anything unique with Lego Winter Village sets or Lego Christmas sets, but I think the execution on some of these is really good. This Christmas tree here has a nice dark green to it, which is just a color I don't usually see used with Christmas trees and Lego sets. Usually it's just a regular green. And this top star piece actually has some fantastic pieces to it. It's a piece I'm not super aware of, but apparently it's from Lego Elves. I don't know, that's what Pro Lego Channel told me. And the design of this, a little bit hard to detach because it actually is a pole connection on some of those one by twos with the two holes on them. And it just works really well because when you put four of them together, it builds just a very gorgeous looking star piece. And that's actually attached uh, via a clip there so you could adjust the star as you'd like. And while I think the presence as a whole could have been a bit more unique, some of them use some unique pieces. For example, using a pretzel as a bow there is kind of interesting. Uh, this one uses uh, the new one by one heart piece as kind of a bow or a little ribbon to the top of it. Also, there's a miniature tanker truck build, it looks like, and also a heart present. Another present here. Lots of nice uses of this new one by one top uh, round piece, like getting it in that purple coloring. And a nice train build here, though I think the one in the Harry Potter advent calendar was just a little bit more interesting. 
But my favorite of the gifts is definitely the rocking horse. I think this is just a really cool, simple, and clever build that works perfectly. And you could even use it uh, to put the one by two gingerbread baby just on the top there. Doesn't really make sense since he has his eyes closed, but still works just fine. So that's fun to play around with, but that's it for the builds. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. The box for this displays the set very well with lots of little details highlighted at the back. And there's two instructions, one for all those side builds and then one for the main build. There's an advertisement for some other sets, I think at the back here. Oh, actually at the literal back of the instructions, but there you go, corner garage. So, you know, a lot of sets I say, oh, I didn't like it when it was first revealed, or I liked it when it was first revealed, and I have the opposite opinion now that I have it built. This one just stays consistent. Loved it when it was revealed, loved it having built. And beyond that, I think the only problems I have with the set is that that one by two gingerbread baby is two dimensional, which would have been a 3D micro figure or something like that. And also, I wish the roof was just a little bit more, or sorry, the, the second floor was more accessible, but the roof gets in the way a bit. I wish maybe there was a way to remove those roof pieces easier. But beyond that, not too much else to complain about here. I love just about everything else. I think it has a fantastic price. The other figures are fantastic. There's a lot of nice, interesting pieces that you won't find in other sets. So I'd rate this set an A overall. I highly recommend it for that $100 price. But that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.